Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up the Nginx source for Kubernetes. Nginx is a web server that can be used as a reverse proxy, load balancer, mail proxy, and HTTP cache. The Nginx ingress controller for Kubernetes is what enables Kubernetes to configure Nginx and Nginx Plus for load balancing Kubernetes services. Getting started with Nginx is easy, and the setup is the same whether you use the open source or Nginx Plus version. In this video, I'll show you how to set up an Nginx source for Kubernetes. For non-Kubernetes sources, there's a separate video available here. First, read the instructions in the Nginx docs here and configure logging in Nginx for error logging and access requests. Sumo Logic collects logs, events, metrics, tracing, and security data with FluentBit, FluentD, Prometheus, OpenTelemetry, and Falco. These collectors are all open source collectors that are maintained by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, or CNCF. The collected data streams through centralized FluidD pipeline for metadata enrichment. Sumo Logic tags a container, pod, node, and cluster, as well as identifying the service, namespace, and deployment. You can use Sumo Logic Kubernetes collection to send the logs and metrics to Sumo Logic. Let's navigate to the training environment where you can see the Kubernetes collection setup is configured in Sumo Logic. Let's take the first step. There's a module for Nginx open source called Stub Status that exposes a few important metrics about Nginx activity. To check if your Nginx build has a Stub Status module, run nginx v. If your nginx build does not include the stub status module, you will have to rebuild from source and include the parameter to the configure script. For the instructions on nginx open source, you can refer to the documentation here. Before you can configure Sumo Logic to ingest metrics, you must enable the stub status module to expose metrics in nginx open source. Make a note of the URL where the stub status is exposed. It will match the format like this. The next step is to install Telegraph. Due to the dynamic nature of Kubernetes, we will use the Telegraph operator. If you have not set up Sumo Logic's Kubernetes co collection, perform the installation steps to set up the Kubernetes collection. While installing, make sure you enable the Telegraph operator by adding this to the installation command. If you have already set up the Kubernetes collection, you can upgrade to the latest version and enable the Telegraph operator. After the Telegraph operator pod is ready, add the following annotations to your Nginx pods from which you want to collect metrics. This contains a required configuration for the Telegraph Nginx input plugin. Please refer to this doc for more information on configuring the Nginx input plugin for Telegraph. Note, since Telegraph will be run as a sidecar, the host should always be localhost. Telegraph.influxdata.com forward slash class sumo logic hyphen Prometheus. This instructs the Telegraph operator what output to use. This should not be changed. Prometheus.io forward slash scrape true. This ensures our Prometheus will scrape the metrics. Prometheus.io forward slash port 9273. This tells Prometheus what ports to scrape on. This should not be changed. Let's further validate the source by checking the source category in a query window. From the home page, select the plus new and select log search. In the query bar, Select source category equal and enter your source category name. For me, it will be underscore source category equals asterisk nginx slash deployment asterisk. And here you go. 
The log metrics are returned from the Kubernetes access log. Similarly, select the plus new and select metrics in the query bar. Enter the metrics query and you can see the metrics results displayed below. And that's how it works. Here's a quick summary of all the steps we performed to set up an Nginx source in the Kubernetes environment. Thank you for joining.